we need to change the way we do things. I think that one of the things I heard once, and it was the Stone Age didn't end because we ran out of stone. The Stone Age ended because we came up with better ideas. And the fossil fuel shouldn't end because we run out of fossil fuel. It should end because there's a better way of doing things. This is the award. We came out with an inspector. This was all done not as a condition of permit. We did this because we believed it was the right thing to do. All we can do is, is create the best conditions we can, which we have here, have a very high success rate on the, on the fry hatching, and then beyond that, it's up to Mother Nature. We needed to enhance the area, and we needed to have uh, a project that, that we could be proud of, industry could be proud of, and other levels of government. Not everybody was on side in the, at first. Uh, we looked at, you know, and, and had other ideas thrown at us from government and what it is uh was just putting gravel in the system you need more spawning gravel let's just dump gravel in there you know and, and i asked him i said well have you ever been to the system do you know what the system is like uh, uh we've been studying the area uh and we've been discussing you know our options and uh we felt that with the impacts that had happened on the stream in the past that you know as i mentioned the stream more than likely had braids at the bottom and the stream had been channelized is that we needed to put back in some off-channel habitat and this is what we call off-channel habitat where we've created uh, even though it's man-made we've tried to mimic nature as closely as possible we've created spawning pool areas uh, alcove areas uh, which all have wood coarse uh, woody debris uh, and let nature take its course. How did you actually build the channel? Uh, it was with an excavator. The excavator, we just dug it up and then threw gravel into it, uh, that was from the local area. But we also placed, we, we, also we placed used, the boulders. Placed the boulders and we also made sure that the gravel size was uh, the same size. This idea started 17 years ago, before it was really fashionable. We, we started in the early 1990s with this concept. By the time we were through our permitting process and commission, that was 1997. But this, this whole concept started about 91, 92. We talked about whether or not uh, it would be best to do a satellite program with the, the hatchery and seashell. That was one idea, or to build a small hatchery facility here. And then we started, then we started to come up here and uh, look at where we could build a spawning channel versus a hatchery, and we favored the. Uh, the natural channel restoration and one of our first areas we looked at was the side channel right off here. It gets... here too. Uh... And there was uh, there was groundwater but uh, we felt that it would be better to augment the, uh, the channels and through uh, we didn't necessarily want to tie it right into the raceways of the, uh, of the hydro plant so we built an intake in the pool just on the upside of the uh, channels and one of the things we also wanted to make sure we weren't impacting negatively on the natural uh, area of the stream so we weren't we weren't taking one away to add to something else it was not a condition of development as Sid had pointed out it was something that we literally had to fight for to get, it, get it put in why did you why did you fight for it Dave what was I mean like well was... we every project the project that we built before this the Wawate generating station on the north shore of Lake Superior was exactly the same we put in we put in enhancement and it just became a, a a tool for us to go back and say have we improved what was there before and it's been very good in convincing people that this isn't all bad that small hydro isn't necessarily a detriment or a net loss you can actually have net gains in development, particularly where there's been man-made impacts, where there's been channelization, where habitat has been destroyed. You know, it's all about taking the tools, as Sid says. I mean, if you build it, they really do come. I mean, rivers are very dynamic, and sometimes they have good uh, and, and suitable spawning areas, and sometimes they don't. That's why year classes go up and down. What we have done here is created a habitat 
it's ideal. And they use it. We're the same guys that built this or operating this. We're not in and out. The same mm -hmm. people up in Dryden, the same people at the, the, the Black River and the North Shore Great Slate of, of uh, Lake Superior, thinking of another project. Same people at Deese Lake, the same people at Seashell. We're, you know, of the six projects, the people in those towns and communities, if they have a problem, it's not his fault, it's my fault. Mm -hmm. Anybody